welcome now to Astro 101. We're on our 12th episode now. We've been doing this for 12 solid weeks. We've been going through the planets, we've been going through the signs, and today we're going to talk about the North and South Node. Now, what is a node? A node's kind of an interesting thing. It's imaginary, really. And how we calculate it is by looking at where the sun's orbit, or the imaginary orbit of the sun up in the sky, where it crosses what we call the ecliptic, which is the moon's orbit. And this is all, of course, just by the lines in the sky. So there's the sun crosses the sky during a certain period, the moon crosses the sky. At some point, they cross. That is the north node, OK? That's how we calculate it. Software does it. I don't even calculate it manually anymore. In fact, I'm kind of a, if, I, if it wasn't for software, I don't know if I'd be as good of an astrologer. Thank God is for that. So the north node shows up in your chart, actually, um, as this little guy, OK? This is how you remember north from south nodes. The north node is pointing north. The little node is pointing up, basically, what would be north. And sometimes you can see the south node. It's directly opposite of the north node, and it looks like this in your chart. It's always directly opposite, 180 degrees opposite of the north node. Now, I do want to tell you a difference. There are what they call north nodes, and they call true north node. The difference there really has to do with modern technology. The north node was kind of approximated back in the old days when people did charts by hand, and they did it with uh, literally doing calculations. And then we came up with what we call the true node, and the true node is more precise based on NASA figures, basically. So the true node is absolute. The north node is more general. And we tend to go with the true north node. I always use the true north node. Might as well use the exact science if you can. Sometimes, though, in people's chart, their nodes moved once they calculated true north nodes. So that's why there's a difference between the two, and that's why it comes up a lot. But I use the true north node. I figure science is precise. Let's take advantage. Now let's talk about what north nodes and south nodes really mean in your chart. They're really a, a very positive and also telling uh, information about where your soul is going or growing, basically. They're often tied to, you'll find, they'll be next to, a lot of times they're next to Pluto. A lot of times uh, the north node is next to a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse. Very, very common because what it's showing is kind of a growth arc that's going on in the soul. The south node is an area of your life where you tend to get stuck, okay? It's your booby trap. It's your quicksand. Your north node is God, universe going, go this way, go this way. This is where you want to go. This is where you want to grow to get not stuck in the south node. So in a way, it's kind of a karmic fault line for people on their charts. And it's very, very telling and usually adds up to other details in the chart. So let me give you a couple examples. Let's say that you're... Um, Let's say that your north node is in the second house, which is the house of soul capital, and your south node ends up being in the eighth house, okay? So what that tells me as an astrologer is you tend to get stuck, south node, when it comes to trust and intimacy issues. Something about that is getting you stuck. Maybe you are not enforcing your trust and intimacy issues. Maybe you're over-enforcing. Maybe you're shut down. But you get stuck in sex. You get stuck in intimacy, the south node. The answer is the north node. You need to believe in yourself. You need to have self-confidence. So it's saying go to the north node to get out of the south node. So by having self-confidence, by bu building self-esteem uh, up, by being more productive in the world, which makes you feel good about yourself, that's an example of how you get unstuck with the trust and intimacy issues, OK? Let's say that your uh, north node is in the third house, and your south node is therefore in the ninth house. You tend to get stuck in belief structure issues, right? This would be a client where they were raised in a very strict religious family. This is a client, uh, maybe they're Sagittarius. They, can, they never stop going to school. They just think they have to get more and more and more and more, more education. Um, or maybe this is a person who really doesn't believe in what they believe in, right? South node, you get stuck in your head. You get stuck in your collective conscious. You get stuck in your wisdom. What's the answer? Communicate. That's right. It's that simple. I would say to the client, you need to talk. You need to talk about what you believe in. You need to, have, you need to go uh, give speeches to people. The more you interact and communicate with people, the more you're going to believe, the more you're going to come out of whatever this ninth house issue is. Okay? Let's say the north node is in the tenth house and the south node is in the fourth house. Okay? This is a different arc. Well, maybe you get stuck in the house. Maybe you don't get out of the house. Maybe your family is holding you back. Maybe, uh, maybe you're overcommitted. Maybe you had kids way too young and so you have five kids whatever, really young in your 20s, which is not a bad thing, but maybe you tend to have this habit of staying in the family, staying in the house, and not taking good care of yourself as a result. The North Node is saying, you got to go out and get a career. you got to make a name for yourself up in the 10th house. This is how you get out of your family situation, your family dynamics. Go out in your career, make a name for yourself, do something out there in the world, create a legacy. So the, no the South Node is where we get stuck, okay? The North Node is how we get out of it. 
Let me give you one more example because I always find this is pretty fascinating stuff with the nodes. And uh, there's been some good books out there as well on, the, on this topic because you can learn so much about your soul and how you tend to fall into things. I'll give you my nodes as an example. My south node is in the 12th house. My north node is in the 6th house, okay? And I'm giving you this example because this is a very esoteric example. It's like, how would this manifest? How do you get stuck in your subconscious, Chris? Well, I get stuck in my weeds. I fall into my fear. This is something that has always haunted me since I was a kid. Until I actually learned astrology, I never really got myself out of this situation. But I tend to fall into this pit of worry and despair. Always has, have as a child. It's probably what built up my astrological wisdom though because I had this desire to, to fix myself and not fall into these uh, dark patterns of the subconscious. The subconscious can be a scary place. Well, the North Node is in the sixth house, the house of moment to moment reality. So literally, whenever I get on the treadmill and get into my body and exercise, I stop worrying about stuff. I come out of that 12th house of darkness, I get into the moment, I get super clear and present, and I also really get sharp on my game, sharp in my life. So the answer there is, hey, when Chris starts worrying, I tell all my friends, when you see me starting to panic, tell me to get my ass on the treadmill. <laughs> because when I do, when I follow that North Node's guidance, I feel so much better, I feel alive, and it's where I'm supposed to go, into the moment of performing, into the moment of the now. Okay, so that's our North and South nodes. I hope you get it. Be sure to post your questions about this. It's kind of a deep con uh, topic, but it's a lot of fun and very uh, enlightening about who we are. And when we start the next episodes now, we're going to get into actual chart reading and we're going to get into the houses. So I look forward to getting even deeper with all of you. Thanks again for watching Astro One. See you next time. So